nice little brass key you see anything else like right there <laughs> all right so we're going to go on a little adventure today i don't think it's going to be a really long one but um, we're going to search for treasure along the river as you can see the river is flowing by right there see that green grass see how it's it's underwater that means the river is high so it's actually up a couple feet right now but what we're going to do is we're going to search along this area here where the scout been scoured out a little bit and hopefully find at least one dime and some other stuff I and mean, you never know what's going to be here i've actually found quite a few coins here over the years right along the bank and actually in the river so let's go ahead and get started and i'm going to give you a little treat because i have already found what i think is a dime that's why i decided to start making the video i've been here about uh, five minutes haven't found anything until just now all right if you look down here somewhere there's a dime and another uh, object that might be a coin but it may not be do you see it you see all the broken glass and the coin just really hide in here sometimes they're really hard to see you can see an edge of it and sometimes they're really easy to see like right there i think that's a dime what do you think yeah it is not sure what kind probably a memorial oh no that's a barber dime right there all right we'll get a date off there and a nice picture for you here in a minute i see another object that is looks like it's lead it's probably a lid off of a no that's a bale seal right there all right so that's some type of small bale seal and uh, we'll take a closer look at that later when i say bale seal that's like a little lead um disc that will have wire going through it and you uh, can hook that to a lock or you can hook it to a cabinet you can hook it to a, 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 a payroll chest or box car on a train and that way you know uh, you hook it and it can't be opened unless you uh, cut it you cut the wire so that way you know just by looking at it that no one's uh, been in there yet no one's uh, opened it and uh, that's what it's called it's called a bale seal they also put that on like bundles of clothes and linens and whatnot because uh, it would you know the seal might have the maker's mark on it so they know what belongs to who all right so let's keep looking i'll put you away until we get to an area where i start finding stuff again only moved a few feet from where the dime was i see a couple pieces of brassy stuff that's probably yeah that's out of a, a tire that's a valve out of an old tire it probably dates to the 1940s or so so another little disky thing over here somewhere that could be a rock though probably a rock um could be something else it's really soft so i'm not sure about that okay we'll keep looking i'll let you know let me find something good if you see something that i miss let me know okay because that's very possible there's another little piece of brass here You can tell it's impossible to use a metal detector down here. Now, there could be a bottle or two. Who knows? That's a old whiskey bottle top right there. Imagine they would get picked up. Oh, what's that? <laughs> That's some type of curly Q brassy thing. It looks like it might be part of like a window for a car or something that someone twisted up like that, which is kind of weird, actually. Let me say that, too. I found several um, half dollars down here. What's that shiny looking thing? Um, silver half dollars down here. That was, I think, two years ago. What's that? That's some brassy thing there. Well, that's kind of neat. That's, um,. I should know what that is, but actually I don't for sure. It would have had, those are countersunk holes, so it would have had screws in there, probably going into wood. And the screws would have been flush. So, um, something hooked into here, well, it reminds me of something to do with a window. I'm not 100% on that, but we'll say that too. Alright, 
Look in the water. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's kind of weird. That is a solid. I think it's solid. No, it's probably not solid, but it's a lead. I think it's made out of lead. That's really weird right there. I'll save that too. I have no idea what that might go to. If you do, let me know. A little piece of, look at that. A piece of brass. And uh, I don't know if that's something or not, is it? No, that's a plate. Is that a shotgun shell? No. Some type of brassy thing. No, it's too big for a shotgun shell. Normally it can go way out there, but like I said, the river's up a couple feet probably right now. We'll get out there later on. What happens is uh, the river comes up in the winter time and it came up probably about 15 feet here and it flows over this old trash dump and kind of takes some of the sand away and then it exposes stuff. You can see all the way down through there you see the bricks and broken bottles. I saw something here while I was talking to you. There it is. That's another little piece of broken brass. That looks like some type of brassy piece there. That's a screen. Come on, coins. <laughs> Surprising number of coins in here. Well, like I said, this is uh, this has been gone over this year already. But I think it flooded one time a little bit since then. A lot of bottles with the screw tops. I'm not going to see those. What we're gonna do is we'll end up a clip. That's kind of interesting. That looks like a looks military, like World War II ish. We're gonna go ahead and um, stay down here by the river, work our way down that way until we run out of stuff. Then we'll come up a little bit higher. That way we get everything covered at least once. Ooh, we do a caster, a ceramic caster to something. Uh, wheel basically is what a caster is. Shingle to somebody's house. Got a nail hole in it. Got a little lid. If you see anything in here that you don't know what it is or you want to, just give me a timestamp. And I'll look at it for you and tell you tell you what it is, or at least try to. A lot of spark plugs in here. I find hundreds of spark plugs. Some type of spout, maybe. To a can. I'm not gonna take that. Look at all that. A lot of brass in here. It's a brass nut. Spark plug, brass screw. I'd like to find some buttons, maybe. Buttons and coins. Some more brass. Look at all the stuff in here. These white things are mason jar lids, or ball jar lids. They date from early 1900s all the way up to, um, I guess present really. What's that? See that? It's kind of roundish, but I think, I thought it was a shotgun gel, but some other type of brass thing. All the car parts in here. Don't know what that is. We'll save it. Might be part of a toy gun right there. Nope, it's a weird, uh, I guess it's a fancy hinge of some sort, probably. Not sure what it goes to, so we'll save it. I thought it was a cork top, but it's not. You see how it's uh, kind of bent like that? That means it's been in a fire. So someone probably burned the trash here back in the day. And that's what happens to the bottle. See, so get melted. It's real common back in the day to do that. I mean, even when I was a kid, people were still burning their trash at home. In the dump, still burning their trash. That's all melted, too. Okay, nothing else. Your troll train. I <laughs> uh, just want to look at a couple things here with you. It's all that weird rock. I think it's just a rock. 
Nothing special. What's that thing? Ooh, no. It's copper, but it's not anything I recognize. There's a lid to something there. Can't get it out. It's probably, uh, it's like a plastic or Bakelite or something. This is the battery core. That's what the inside of a battery looks like. That's a uh, carbon. Gives a nice signal on metal detector. What's that? We could actually find Civil War stuff here too because there was, uh, there were camps right in this area and actually some battles. So there could be some stuff from, from that that's left over, but it's probably buried in this area. With all this modern trash on it. You can see where it's all washed out here. It's not seeing too much of interest besides that one coin so far. <laughs> that looks like um, one of those uh, things of tape. That would be like tape on the inside, but I'm not sure about that. I'll have to think about that and I'll save it for a minute. in here oh, it's a pretty blue bottle we'll see that if it's not broken yeah a little noxima bottle i think we'll save that little bottles like that are kind of cool it's a whole bottle maybe let's look at that uh yeah so that's some type of soda bottle but i think there's a date on the bottom like 1930 something yeah 19 1937 that might actually be a date well, i guess we'll see I have to say that too <laughs> i should have brought a bigger bag i guess i just really only have my pockets this is kind of a strange piece looks like some looks almost like a uh, a breastplate but i know it isn't i think it's copper or, or brass alloy and it's got what appears to be a lid or no i thought that was a uh, bottle cap stuck to it but i'm not sure I'm not sure what that thing is we'll keep it Maybe one of you guys will know. <laughs> Piece of a car. A lot of car stuff in here. Wow, this is really washed out this year. See any coins? Hmm, I wonder what that was. I don't know. Alright, um, got a couple bottles up here I thought we'd look at or jars. Uh, milk glass looks like it's in pretty good shape and a couple smaller ones smaller uh, just bottles that's dr ellis that would have been a good one but it's broken so i'm not gonna save it another small it's probably perfume right there all right i just want to show you those real quick I'm seeing the um, usually there's tons of other stuff in here like spoons and stuff so I guess it's probably been gone over all the good stuff was taken it's at one dime wait let me see what this is uh, broken insulator it stopped to an insulator right there recognize that there's a bottle it's probably a mason jar or not a mason jar or ketchup yeah it's ketchup Something broken right there. The insulator. Like a big jar or something here. I thought we'd dig that up together. Yeah, just a screw top jar. Be really careful on that. Uh, yep. Like an old mayonnaise jar or something. I don't see any writing on it. I'll put it back. Brass something. This piece of wire that's rusted into. Piece of wire. Yeah, some more there. Not sure about that either. See anything of interest here? I do. I see two things. First thing I see, which, which is what I saw originally, 
there's a brassy thing over here look like maybe a key <laughs> isn't that amazing i don't see it oh there it is right here oh it's probably a uh oh it is a key look at that that's a nice little key right there nice little brass key you see anything else like right there <laughs> i think it's a quarter let's see if it's an old one now that is a washington quarter but it's silver that is definitely silver i'll uh I'll clean it up in the river here in a minute and we'll get a we'll get a date off of it and I'll get you a picture. There's a little disc right there, but you know there's tokens in here from the uh trolleys in Washington DC that I found. I don't think that's what that is, but we'll we'll get that washed off and get you a picture. Okay, there's another key over here. More modern, but some type of little house key, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. We're doing good today. I'm very happy with what we've found so far. Let's find a uh, set of dog tags from World War II. Found quite a few of them up here in the river. Seems like when you find a coin in one area, there's usually more. Like they didn't throw them out by themselves. They threw them out in little batches. <laughs> we don't need no stinking batches. All right. Off you go. Seems to be a lot of these uh, blue insulators out here. These are off railroad usually. But every one's been broken that I've seen so far. There's another jar. Well, that, we'll let that one go. It's probably just a, a plain jar. Pretty pottery down here though. Look at that. What gorgeousity. So just found another bale seal, small one, right there, and some type of uh, lead, I guess washer of some kind. A lot of little pieces of lead right in this one little area right here. I don't know what that's all about. Some of it's melted, some of it's not. Bottles in here. If it had writing on it, I might consider, looks like an older one though. Yeah, we'll leave that one for the next guy. If he wants it, here's some more melted lead. A lot of melted lead right here for some reason. Could have been an old battery or something, like car battery that melted when they burned this area off. That's probably what it is. I see a lot of burn bottles in here. And I need a coin up here. <laughs> now I want to show you this jar. It's on a jar over here somewhere. Do you see it? Nope. Where was it? There's a white jar. It was over here. Might have gone. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. Well, it's got writing on it. I didn't even realize that. And that says. I'm not sure, but I'll get you a picture of that one. Definitely going to save it. I'm not sure what this thing is. I guess I should have looked at it. It's got windings. It's copper windings on it. Another one of those little lead discs. Little copper wires. Alright, oh, I'll have to stand up. Uh, we'll keep looking down through here. And we're gonna go along the top, you know, a little bit higher and go all the way back. Just dug this weird thing right here. It's, um, I guess it's steel, but boy, I tell you, it feels heavy. I don't guess it's anyway, it's silver, I was hoping. Uh, anyway, I got you out because I wanted to show you this. That looks like a marble right there, a nice marble. And you know what? It's broken. No, it's melted. Isn't that cool? That's definitely marble that was uh, melted in the fire here. That's pretty neat right there. What's that? It's copper or brass and it's on an iron spike. I don't know what that is. We'll leave it. Sweet. This is a weird uh, big pile of iron something. I don't know. Maybe it was wire. But a couple things seem to be mixed in here. That was a more modern trash there. It looks like a little buckle maybe. 
Yeah, it's a little buckle. Little, uh, yeah, probably a little belt buckle, I guess. Maybe they, the pants are in here and it's full of coins. See any coins? What's that? <laughs> yeah, I don't see a whole lot in there. Um, hmm. At least we got that buckle. That's pretty nice. It's really heavy, too. Here's a couple of things I just uh, found. I just wanted to show you. I mean, they're not wonderful, but you may not know what they are. This is a ceramic tube, and that is actually part of a uh, wiring system to a house, an electrical system. This is a, these are like tubes to either tooth, toothpaste or some other type of paste, and they're a very flexible, bendy metal. I guess it's like, I don't know if it's lead or whatever, but it's something like that. And there's another one there. I find a lot of these. I'm not sure what that says on that one. I'll take a picture of it for you. And this is a, I thought it was a finger ring, but I'm not sure what it is. Got a bottle here that's kind of buried. Probably ketchup. We'll take a peek at it though. Maybe. Yeah, just an old ketchup bottle. I'm gonna we'll leave that. A piece of lead right here. I don't know what that's all about. Really, well, that's off of a uh, net. This is a net weight off of a like fishing net that you throw out in the river and probably catch little fishies. And these uh these have been pretty much the same design for many many hundreds of years. That's what this is. Right, look at that. <laughs> the old piece. That's a. Uh, copper wire there all right let me put these away and we'll keep looking this is a nice washed out area here but i'm not seeing anything great uh, some pieces of maybe a chrome oh, what was that thing don't know that would have been a nice seven up bottle but as you can see it's broken some more battery cores and quite a few of these out here uh the hole right there is something that was you know it's a can that's rotted away left a what's that left a hole that's a rock I haven't really seen any uh, coins or anything up in here, though. Any dog tags. Or dog tax tags. Either one. Kind of a weird little piece of metal ah, there. Don't know what it is. I'll save it just in case. That looks pretty interesting. Looks like Sylvania. Looks like a little glass thingy. Yep, that's Sylvania. Can't tell if it's burned out, but I'm assuming it is. I'm not going to keep that though. Put it right back. Probably float away the next flood. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you can tell, I'm not going to carry out all the junk here. <laughs> that would take me forever. Seen a few things in this little washed-out area. I mean, I haven't seen anything really great, but uh, appears to be pieces of lead like that and. Some wire. I saw something down here that looked interesting. More than that. More chrome off a of vehicle, I guess. Mm, that's probably chrome off a vehicle. A little tiny flower pot, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Ooh, what's that? That's brass. Looks like it. Either had some iron on it or there's some iron attached to it. It's almost like something you'd push, but I don't know. I don't know what that... Oh, that's uh, probably out of a tire, maybe. Another valve stem. Looks something round in there, but no, it's just wire. All right, nothing too great. Another jar up in there. Well, let's look at that in case it's a milk bottle. Let's crawl up in here. Police cart. That was a cicada when I first heard it. That's possible. Definitely next down. Nah, it's got some, um, thread right there. It's just a regular bottle or a bottle. I don't know if it's cork top or screw top. Yeah, screw top, so we'll leave it. It says Clorox right there. You can see it. Um, no, maybe it isn't Clorox, but something like Clorox. I saw something up here. Oh yeah, here's a little magnesia bottle, but it's it's obviously been in the fire, so it's kind of melted. Not 
What's that? It's a long old bottle, isn't it? There's quite a bit of that in here. It's a, some type of thing that you push up right there. That's the lead. This is a battery. This is out of a battery. That's a terminal right there. So those things that all that melted lead is probably from a melted battery. Not too heavy for a button. That's a little wheel is what it is. It's a little rubbery thing in the middle. So it's like a wheel to a toy of some sort. I think a big old button right there. Two hole button. That probably went on some type of cheap jacket I guess. That's what it is. More stuff from a house. I wish I could think of some use for these. I, I can't, so I'm going to leave them there. See, there's more up in here. Uh, broken medicine bottles. A drinking jar. Glass, rather. A lot of little bottles in here. What kind of that are? That is a couple of them, though. Ah, another marble. Looky! <laughs> This one's not even melted. That's pretty nice, we'll take that. Marble number two. Let's look at these things here. That's another Clorox bottle, or I think it's called Semtex, which is a type of Clorox wannabe. Let's see what that is. Get this cork. Oh, that's all, see how black that is? That's all ash from where they burned it. I think that's what it is actually. It could be a beer bottle. Let's see. Look, look, look. Alright, so that's a beer bottle of some sort. There's no no embossing, so it would have had a label. I think it's a beer bottle. We won't save that. We'll put it here just in case someone else comes along. Oh, well, that's a cutie. We'll save him. He's um, like a cork top or some type of cap went on there. It looks like the glass isn't that great. Kind of wavy. Another one of those big bottles here. Yeah, look how it just dug into that. If there are any coins in here, we'd see them pretty quick, I think. Of course, it wouldn't be a search without one of these. That's a reed, probably to a harmonica. Be a couple of them out here should be they could be washed around who knows where they're at dropped a lot of stuff here but i don't really see uh I don't know what that is a little tile or something a little tiny one oh look at that little dish some bottles up in there some type of little blue dooricky Let's just take a minute and go over the finds. I kind of washed everything off in the river and I've actually found a couple of things in the river while I was doing it right there. Well, washing them off right there. Uh, got another melted marble and that looks like a, probably a pocket watch, but good 1943 war quarter and a 19, I think it's 1906 Barber Dime. And you've seen the rest of this. I pretty much got everything I believe on video. So I'm gonna call it a day. We'll see you on the next one, I hope. You'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the 
sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving. Where 